Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how you can use a custom font for your text. It's nice and easy, so I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call it My Font. Next, API, I'm going to go with 14. Uh, next, blank activity and default settings. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a folder in our app for our font because we need to put our fonts in a special folder called assets. Now to do this we right click on our app and we want to go new folder uh, assets folder and we're just going to click on finish and there's our assets folder and this is where we put our fonts. So I'm going to grab a font I've got a font here. It can be um, this is just a, a, a true type font, a TTF file. You can use SVG, that works as well. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm just going to paste it in our assets folder. So we should see our font there, ready to be used. So I'm just going to just use the hello world text just as a demonstration. I'm just going to enlarge it so we can see it, make it bigger. And just gonna text size, make it 35, say, no, say 55. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna change the color as well to FF0000, nice red color. Okay, so there's our text that we're gonna change. So if we run our emulator at the moment. what we see. So we're going to change that. So just in our on create method, just underneath our set content view, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a typeface object and I'm just going to call this my typeface. We go equal to equals typeface and we want this create from asset method. So I'll just select that one and for this we put in get assets and comma and the name of our font font name. Now here you have to put and put it in quotes. It's in quotes. We need to put the full name of the, of the file, including the file extension, and it has to be exact. Uh, it has to be um, it has to match the if it's uppercase or lowercase. So even if even the uh, file extension. So if if the file this wouldn't work if I was to put that that wouldn't work. So it has to be exact. So we're going to use this this font. So that's that created. So we semicolon, and now we create a text view because we want to be able to reference this text view here. Now at the moment it hasn't got an ID, so we need to give it an ID. So ID, um, we're going to call it. Uh, I'm just going to call it text view one. So we can create a new text view. Object. So I'm just going to call this my text view, and it's going to be equal to find view by ID, and we just put in the path of the uh, of the of the ID of the text view, which is r dot id dot, and it was called text view one. So there's our text view. So we've created this text view referencing this hello world text view. But this this method returns uh, a view, so we need to tell it what kind of we need to cast the view. So we're going to call it text view, and we semicolon. Now we want to do is we want to set the typeface for this text view to be what this is. So we reference our text view object, which is my text view, which is what we called it here, and then we dot we use this method this method here set typeface and it wants a typeface which is the one we created here so we just pop our typeface object in here and that's it that's how simple it is so we run that and there's our 
any font. And obviously you can do this for buttons as well, you just need to obviously create a button uh, object and part, uh, cast, the, cast the view as a, a button. Now this is great for setting individual uh, text views, but um, you can, there is a way that you can set the, the font for the whole of your application. So you don't have to keep setting up these, these separate um, views. But that, would, that creates, uh, uh, you'd have to create a completely new class and that's I'll, I'll create a video, I'll make a video showing you how to do that. So that's how you set up your custom custom font for your text. I hope you, I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing.